Hey, my Linians, Teacher Darwin here. Today's video tutorial is all about the topic It's best to have your activity sheets beside you and to have your book open. But, a friendly reminder, do not write anything on your activity sheet or on your book. So sit back, watch, learn, and let the knowledge flow. In this video lesson, you are expected to relate species extinction to the failure of populations of organisms to adapt to abrupt changes in the environment. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let us have some definition of terms. Let us define what is biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the variety of life in an area. It refers to every living thing including plants, bacteria, animals, and humans. Earth's biodiversity is so rich that many species have yet to be discovered. Next, what is population in biodiversity? It is a group of organisms of the same species living in a certain place. Now, what can you say about these two pictures? The first picture is a coconut plantation and the second picture is the Tubataha reef. Which pictures show high level of diversity? That's right! Tubataha reef with different kinds of aquatic species are more diverse than coconut plantation. How about the population? As you can see in the pictures shown, Tubataha Reef or marine ecosystem has different groups of organisms of the same species than a coconut plantation with lesser group of organisms being dominated by coconut trees. In short, Tubataha Reef has more population than coconut plantation. Next, let us have threatened species. These are species wherein their population declines so fast that it becomes endangered. One example is our Philippine eagle or the monkey-eating eagle. Take a look of these pictures. The first picture is Tamarau from Mindoro and tar shears that are usually seen in Bohol, Philippines. When a species population becomes so low, that only a few remain, the species is considered endangered, just like the Tamarau and Tarsier in the Philippines. Do you know these kinds of animals? The first one is the Philippine rhinoceros. The second one is what we call stegodon. These animals are considered extinct. Extinction occurs when the last member of a species dies. Here are some of the extinct animals in the Philippines. Take note of the following so you can answer your learning task. The first one is the Asian elephant in the period of Holocene. Next, we have fossil marines in the period of Pleistocene. Cebu Tamarau in the period of Pleistocene or Holocene. Stegodon luzonensis in the period of Pleistocene. Cebu warty pig in the period of Holocene. Palawan fossil Serenia in the period of Miocene. Mm -hmm. 
Philippine rhinoceros in the period of Pleistocene. Tiger in the period of Holocene. The question is, why does extinction occur? Here are some of the natural causes. The first one is the climatic heating and cooling. Climate change is caused by a number of things. The effect that climate has on extinction is very big. The biodiverse Earth can keep up with the rapid changes in temperature and climate. The species are not used to severe weather conditions and long seasons are a changing chemical makeup of their surroundings. As more species die, it is only making it more difficult for the survivors to find food. The warmer climates we are used to present today are perfect for diseases and epidemics to thrive. Next, changes in sea levels or currents. The changes in sea levels and currents is a result in part of the melting fresh water. The denser, saltier water sinks and forms the currents that marine life depends on. Ocean floor spreading and rising also affects sea level. A small rise in the ocean floor can displace a lot of water onto land that is already occupied. The gases from the volcanic activity can also be absorbed by the water, thus changing the chemical composition making it unsuitable for some life. Next, Asteroids Cosmic Radiation Asteroids hit the Earth with extreme force. The reverberations can be felt around the world. The impact site is completely destroyed. Cosmic radiation is radiation being emitted from outer space and the sun. It is hypothesized that being exposed to too much cosmic radiation can mutate genes which can potentially weaken a species gene pool in the future. Since the radiation comes from space and the sun, it is extremely difficult to avoid radiation. A supernova remnant is one source of cosmic radiation. Next, Acid Rain Acid rain forms when sulfur dioxide and or nitrogen oxides are put into the atmosphere. The chemicals get absorbed by water droplets in the clouds and eventually fall to the earth as acid precipitation. Acid rain increases the acidity of the soil which affects the plant life. It can also disturb rivers and lakes to a possibly lethal level. Next, disease epidemic. Each species has defense mechanisms like immunities and the ability to fight disease. With the changing climate and blunt escape, certain species are losing their ability to fend off disease. They are becoming more susceptible to disease and epidemics, which can lead to their eventual extinction. Next, spread of invasive species. Invasive species invade foreign territory. They use resources that the other species depend on. Once competition gets too great, the survival of the fittest plan will begin. And one of the species, usually the natural one, will die off. Human Causes of Extinction These are the top human causes of extinction. Increased human population, destruction, fragmentation of habitat, pollution, such as water and air pollution, climate change, or global warming. Habitat Degradation 
Habitat loss and degradation affect 85% of all threatened birds, 86% mammals, and 88% of threatened amphibians. Climate change and global warming According to John W. Williams' research, their findings indicated that by the end of the 21st century, large portions of the Earth's surface may experience climates not found at present, and some 21st century may disappear. In any ecosystem, organisms need a balanced environment. A balanced ecosystem is one in which all living and non-living things are interacting harmoniously. If any part of the ecosystem is disturbed, other parts will also be affected. And that's it for our video tutorial about the topic If you have any questions, you can personally message me in my Facebook account or you can post your questions in your science Facebook group. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you and see you on the next video.